What is going on guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million back again with another daily video. Hopefully your weekend is going well. Mine's uh okay. Thanks for asking. Uh we're gonna be doing a Ranzity Spotlight, my review impressions for Race the Sun, which just came out this past week on the 21st on Xbox One. It's been on PlayStation for a while. It retails for ten dollars and it's developed and published by Flippy Fly. So Race the Sun. So basically you are a solar powered craft. Uh, the sun up in the sky there is your death timer. You gotta race towards the sunset at breakneck speed in a futile race against time. Basically, Race the Sun is a game uh, where you're constantly battling against your own death. The point of it is to get as far as possible along the horizon before the sun reaches, uh, you know, sets and the game ends and you can kind of extend the timer so to speak by picking up uh like a pickup right there as i picked up now the point of this game is to play as many times as possible to find the route the right routes pick up uh these blue orbs so they can give you multipliers it's it's basically <laughs> it's like one of those older arcade games where it's basically supposed to be short play sessions and you're competing with your friends in high score things the thing is I don't think the game's any good, to be honest with you. Um, I don't like the way the game looks. I'm not a fan of the way the game controls. I don't like the fact that the game kind of resets its world every couple hours. And I also don't like the fact that the sun is your death timer. Like, I would prefer it if the game was like, just go as far as you can. Um, as long as you can until you just died. But that's not how the way the game is set up. So basically, you start at level one. There's a whole bunch of levels. At each level, um, you get more, unlock more different items, whether they're jump uh, icons or, or to help you obviously jump over obstacles or uh, different things like that. And you do that by completing challenges. Some challenges might be like, hey, drive a certain amount of distance, score a certain amount of points. And when you do that, you level up, you unlock things for your craft, you lock different attachments. Like I, I have magnetized on. So those uh, blue orbs that I pick up that give me the multipliers uh, so I can score, uh, you know, get on the leaderboard. But $10 game, I'm not a fan of it all. I'll probably will never play it again. I know that kind of sounds harsh, but hey, I do these videos because someone out there might actually enjoy a game like this. It's just not for me. I, I wish you weren't always competing against the sun because I do like the idea of of racing as as long and as far as you possibly can. But I I'm just not a fan of everything about the game. Basically, the mechanics. The leveling up system, the look of the game, all that stuff. I, I, it's, it's just, I guess, a game not for me, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not a game for you. $10, mm, I would have preferred 5 I don't think, really think there's a lot of content here. I know there's a bunch of worlds you can go through. Um, I, think, I, I forget how many there actually are, and the worlds do kind of reset every couple hours, but I'm just not... A fan and if you're looking for achievements they're extremely hard good luck getting all of them um, it's a pretty tough completion with some pretty hard achievements so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, flip this game race the Sun is available right now in the Xbox store for ten dollars I think five dollars would be a little bit better price for this game for what it offers um, I'm not a big fan so on my scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this game a 4. Um, there's not much I like about the game, so yeah. Sorry for the kind of the bad review, but you know, I tell it how it is. Anyways guys, hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content. I will see everybody later.